Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today I'm going to show you uh, improvement that I just made and upload in the current beta 2.4, I mean 2.5.b3, it's the third uh, beta from next version 2.5, and it's about uh, better controls of scrolls, scroll views. So let's take this example here um, as a sample. As you can see, we have lots of layers uh, that are going to be part, and even here in the in the bottom, you see some other layers. Uh, those layers together are going to be the, the the content, the body of this big group called GP Layer One. Okay, so if you decide to use a, uh, this group of layers as a scroll. What you're going to do is, again, you come to Interactions, there's a scroll object, you click there, I did it before, and you have uh, two now, two version 2.4, just these three options here, Ob height object, paragraph, and page. When I originally designed this, I was thinking only in situations where you would have just, for example, in a both in a scroll, vertical, vertical scroll, or horizontal scroll, just one object per line. So that's why I added this option here. Tell me the weight of each object, and with that, Quick would automatically calculate it for you. But in this particular scenario here, uh, you see there are four objects per row, but as well as there are these, these large spaces between them. This kind of scenario wasn't uh, in my thinking process while designing this, because again, uh, with the current design, if you tell Quick, oh, it's a uh, uh, hundred pixels, Quick will automatically add uh, a spacer and keep repeating all the, the 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 objects. But it's not the case again here. So how to handle a situation like that? So I create this option here in 2.5. It's called manual, but before we go there, let's see how it would work in this example using the current options. So if you come and say object, for example, and click publish, okay, so this is what you get. Because again, based on the current formulas and positions of several objects, this is the situation. You don't see it the, uh, oops, uh, in the correct position. Okay, so the same happens if you come here and say, you know what, I'm gonna use the paragraph. Paragraph is uh, originally intent to be used with text, but again, if you try that, even if you try that and publish again, you will see that the same situation will occur. Because again, the distance between points are completely different. Okay, so in order to avoid, let's let's see the page also. So let's click page and publish and try to again same situation. Okay, so let's use the new option which is manual. Okay, if I select manual and do nothing, okay, and I click create quick again, we'll try to uh, make things happen to you in the best way. So it's almost there, okay? The new formulas used in this scenario are much better than the previous one. So before you even ask, why are you keeping the previous ones if you are not that good? Because again, just to keep compatibility with uh, people already using uh, the, 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 this feature today. So, but again, in this case here, you can go a little bit up, but you cannot control, I mean, you cannot leave the last layer here. So, in this case, how to use this? What we're gonna do here is we are gonna tell this specific two fields here, width and, and height of this. So the best way to do that, because we cannot use this parameter here, doing this thing that I just mentioned, there are four objects with different spacers between them. It's important to get the size of this line here. I mean, the, the width 
of these four objects together plus a space plus their height. So because I don't know by, by, by memory what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to cancel here. So I'm going to draw um, an image, a rectangle, just on top of this. So and keeping pressing, press it, I can see that, okay, this is 659 by 119. So I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it. And now I know that is 659 by 199. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's not going to be perfect yet. And let me tell you why. OK. So why it's not good yet? Because we just set 119 pixels for the width. And this is not the thing. What you should do, and in fact, I should do, but I thought it was nice to show a common error. In fact, uh, is to draw a rectangle around the entire visible area. So in our case, it's going to be 659 by 848. Okay, again, delete it. So if you just come here and put here now 858, okay, and publish again. Now we have a much better controlled scroll view. And again, you may um, need to create a mask. In this case, yes, you need to create a mask. But as you can see, now we have a much better control. Again, you may say, oh, OK, this current implementation is far from good. Yes, it is far from good, but it tried at, uh, at least to calculate things for you. But because you are using different uh, ways to do things in quick, I think uh, it's a nice addition to have the option to manually uh, manage things. So if you don't like the current implementation, right, if it does not fit what you need, let's use the, the manual one and fix uh, by yourself with the tips that I just uh, gave. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.